Alcoholic Hepatitis, Wikipedia article audio. Alcoholic hepatitis is hepatitis due to excessive intake of alcohol. It is usually found in association with fatty liver, an early stage of alcoholic liver disease, and may contribute to the progression of fibrosis, leading to cirrhosis. Signs and symptoms of alcoholic hepatitis include jaundice, ascites, fatigue, and hepatic encephalopathy. Mild cases are self-limiting, but severe cases have a high risk of death. Severe cases may be treated with glucocorticoids. Alcoholic hepatitis is characterized by myriad symptoms, which may include feeling unwell, enlargement of the liver, development of fluid in the abdomen, and modest elevation of liver enzyme levels. Alcoholic hepatitis can vary from mild with only liver enzyme elevation to severe liver inflammation with development of jaundice, prolonged prothrombin time, and even liver failure. Severe cases are characterized by either obtundation or the combination of elevated bilirubin levels and prolonged prothrombin time. The mortality rate in both severe categories is 50% within 30 days of onset. Signs and Symptoms Pathophysiology Alcoholic hepatitis is distinct from cirrhosis caused by long-term alcohol consumption. Alcoholic hepatitis can occur in patients with chronic alcoholic liver disease and alcoholic cirrhosis. Alcoholic hepatitis by itself does not lead to cirrhosis, but cirrhosis is more common in patients with long-term alcohol consumption. Some alcoholics develop acute hepatitis as an inflammatory reaction to the cells affected by fatty change. This is not directly related to the dose of alcohol. Some people seem more prone to this reaction than others. This is called alcoholic steatonecrosis and the inflammation probably predisposes to liver fibrosis. Some signs and pathological changes in liver histology include If chronic liver disease is also present The diagnosis is made in a patient with history of significant alcohol intake who develops worsening liver function tests including elevated bilirubin and aminotransferases. The ratio of aspartate aminotransferase to alanine aminotransferase is usually two or more. In most cases, the liver enzymes do not exceed 500. The changes on liver biopsy are important in confirming a clinical diagnosis. Clinical practice guidelines by the American College of Gastroenterology have recommended corticosteroid treatment. Patients should be risk stratified using a MELD score or child PU score. Diagnosis Treatment and Management Mallory's hyaline body a condition where precaritin filaments accumulate in hepatocytes. This sign is not limited to alcoholic liver disease, but is often characteristic, ballooning degeneration hepatocytes in the setting of alcoholic change often swell up with excess fat, water, and protein, normally these proteins are exported into the bloodstream. Accompanied with ballooning, there is necrotic damage. The swelling is capable of blocking nearby biliary ducts leading to diffuse cholestasis, inflammation neutrophilic invasion is triggered by the necrotic changes and presence of cellular debris within the lobules. Ordinarily the amount of debris is removed by cup fur cells, although in the setting of inflammation they become overloaded, allowing other white cells to spill into the parenchyma. These cells to hepatocytes with Mallory bodies. Fibrosis Cirrhosis a progressive and permanent type of fibrotic degeneration of liver tissue. Corticosteroids, 
these guidelines suggest that patients with a modified MADRI's discriminate function score 32 or hepatic encephalopathy should be considered for treatment with prednisolone 40 mg daily for four weeks followed by a taper. Models such as the LEAL model can be used to monitor for improvement or to consider alternative treatment, pentoxifiline, a randomized controlled trial found that among patients with a discriminate function score 32 and at least one of the following symptoms, 4.6 patients must be treated with pentoxifiline for four weeks to prevent one patient from dying. Subsequent trials have suggested that pentoxifiline may be superior to prednisolone in the management of acute alcoholic hepatitis with discriminate function score greater than 32. Advantage of pentoxifiline over prednisolone was better tolerability, lesser side effects, with decreased occurrence of renal dysfunction in patients receiving pentoxifiline, potential for combined therapy. A large prospective study of over 1,000 patients investigated whether prednisolone and pentoxifiline produced benefits when used alone or in combination. Pentoxifiline did not improve survival alone or in combination. Prednisolone gave a small reduction in mortality at 28 days but this did not reach significance, and there were no improvements in outcomes at 90 days or one year.